Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, fix stutters or lags, and even get lower ping inside of the new Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. This is going to be the part 1 of an ultimate FPS boost guide for Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2, so sit tight and follow me. But before jumping into the video, just make sure to take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. With that out of the way, let's dive straight into today's video. So this video is gonna be kind of a quick preparation stage for the update so if you haven't already updated your game that's actually kind of a good news because i would highly recommend you to not update it right now instead uninstall fortnite completely and then reinstall it so that you get a brand new copy of fortnite which you can then go ahead and optimize using these videos so assuming that you have already updated your game or perhaps you have uninstalled and then reinstalled your game we can move on with the further steps and tweaks so go down into the description of this video and download the fortnite ultimate fps pack now you might also notice that there is another one called the pack 2 but that will be for the video that's gonna be coming out tomorrow for this video we're gonna be going ahead and using this one so open it up using 7 zip win or whatever you want and then just drag this folder out of it or extract it it's really up to you go ahead and open it up and inside of here you will find all these five folders as well as an engine.ini file what i want you to do is right click on it and copy this engine.ini file then minimize the pack go down to your start menu and then search for run go ahead and open up the run box and once it opens up go ahead and type in percentage local app data percentage once again and hit ok now what we're going to be looking at is the epic games launcher folder so inside of here just press e and it should take you to the e section then go ahead and open up the epic games launcher folder go into the saved go into the config windows and then just right click on here and click paste go ahead and replace the file in the destination and then right click on the engine.ini click on properties check read only hit apply hit ok and now it should be replaced properly what this is going to do is allow you to update your games even faster so perhaps you should do this step before updating your game or even reinstalling it but it's really a quick little trick to go ahead and optimize the epic games launcher in of itself but what it's done is actually if i go ahead and edit it it's put these commands inside of this one here for me it was completely empty but for you it may have some things inside of it so i've just basically gone ahead and replaced that with these these i actually found from code life so the link to his video will be down in the description below so once you're done with this you can close out of this but go into the local once again and now inside of here what you need to do is go ahead and click on the fortnite game folder press f2 or just right click and click on rename and then just put anything at the end of it for me i'm gonna go ahead and put in zero but you can literally go ahead and type in anything so that it is renamed now what this has done is it has actually reset the fortnite config file along with the fortnite cache files so now when you launch the game you will have a brand new config file to work with we are gonna be going ahead and optimizing the config and the settings in the next video that's gonna be coming out tomorrow but for today we're gonna be going ahead and resetting the config file now that that's out of the way you can close out of this and we can move on to the further steps go back into the pack once more and inside of here you will find the first folder that is called the visual components now inside of here i will want you to go ahead and install the directx web setup what this is going to do is install the directx's latest version from the web itself so i would recommend just not clicking this install the bing bar click next and then it should go ahead and automatically download the directx for you as well as some of its components now for me it's giving an error for some reason but i have already installed it so i'm gonna go ahead and click on finish then just below that are the visual c components now these are really useful for not only fortnite but other games that you play as well so i would highly recommend you to go ahead and install this in the same way that you would install any software once you're done with all of that go back into the pack once more and in this time go into the chipset drivers now inside of here i would like you to right click on the sdi underscore x64.exe run it as administrator and what this is going to do is load up all of the indices it might ask you an option such as this one to download all of the indices so first i would only want you to download the indices and then what you can do is go ahead and install the drivers as you require but this is going to basically go ahead and present you a list of drivers that are not found or that may need an update so all you need to do is just check them once they appear here click on this install button and it will then automatically download and install all of those drivers for you but one thing that you will need to do is go ahead and restart your pc once the installation has completed another thing that i would recommend you to not update your graphics drivers through here even though it will give you an option but i would still recommend you to download those from the official website of nvidia or amd whichever one you are using if you want to completely know how to properly install latest drivers or even the best drivers for nvidia as well as amd then i will leave the link to both of my guides in the description down below now those guides have been made in the past year however they still apply and are the best method to install any new drivers 
for your graphics card. So as you can see that while we were talking, it has downloaded the indices and these drivers of mine have an update available. As you can see that it's even showing my graphics card. But like I said, I would not recommend you to update it using this software, but instead download it from the official website and follow through my guide on how to properly install graphic drivers. But other than that, all you need to do is just check on them and then go ahead and just click on install and it's going to automatically download and install those drivers. But for now, I'm going to be going ahead and skipping it for the sake of the video. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, go back into the pack and open up the SVC host split threshold. Now, what this is going to do is basically combine the services list inside of the task manager to basically go ahead and give you a bit of performance boost. Now, if you open up the readme, it's going to go ahead and show you that you need to execute the file that is equal to your RAM amount. Now, how do you check that? Well, it's really simple. All you need to do is right click on the taskbar, open up the task manager and inside of here, go into the performance tab. If you click on memory, it should show you the total amount of RAM that you have. So for me, I have 16 gigs of RAM. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and execute the 16 GB dot dredge. Hit yes hit OK and that's basically it. Now if you have anything more than 32 gigs then I wouldn't recommend this tweak but even so you can go ahead and execute the 32 gig file. It will probably help you in that case as well. So once you're done with this go back into the pack once more open up the network and inside of here you will find another readme. Now this is going to show you how you can actually apply these tweaks but I'm going to be going ahead and guiding you through it anyway. So close out of this open up your start menu and search for device manager. Go ahead and open up the device manager. Inside of here what you will need to do is go ahead and find your network adapter right click on it and then find the one that you are using for me it's the intel 82579lm gigabit network connection and what i'm going to be doing is right click on it click on properties and inside of here i'm going to go ahead and go into the power management first so make sure that all of these are unchecked then go into the advanced and then just open up this png file that i have for you and it has all of the best settings that you need to apply so if i go into the setting once more by right clicking going into the properties going into the advanced i'm gonna go ahead and just copy all of these settings from here for example as you can see that last setting is wait for link for me and inside of here it says that wait for link should be disabled so i'm gonna go ahead and click on off hit ok and it may take down your internet for a moment but that's completely all right also you can always go ahead and return these settings to default by just going ahead and putting them back to what they were so yeah it's really not a big deal but it's going to tremendously help you with your ping as well as your network speeds so once you have copied all of these settings into your network adopt you can close out of this close out of this as well and then go ahead right click on the network tweaks that are optional but i would still recommend them right click on it run it as administrator and it's basically going to ahead and run some net ssh commands such as clearing your cache and all that good stuff so once that is done you can go back into the pack once more and open up the temp cleanup now inside of here you will find three folders so open up the first one go ahead and select everything that's inside of here these are all the temporary files that windows no longer uses hit delete and it's going to go ahead and delete all of those for the ones that it isn't able to delete they're probably being used in the background so just click on do this for all the current items and click on skip once you have done that go back open up the recycle bin temp and inside of here as you can see that this is currently empty so i'm gonna leave it and then for the windows temp go ahead and once again do the same thing select everything hit delete and that should be it i would also recommend you to go ahead and open up your recycle bin and delete everything from there as well so the next stage is actually related to the epic games launcher itself so what we're going to be doing is go ahead and open up the epic games launcher and go into the settings now inside of here just go ahead and copy all of my settings so enable offline mode browsing should be unchecked minimize to system tray should also be unchecked run when my computer starts unchecked and then for the hide game library should also be unchecked allow installs while editors are running should be checked and cloud saves should also be enabled now throttle downloads will give you a bit of boost in the download if they are unchecked so i like to keep them at off and the same thing for the use proxy then for the desktop notification I highly recommend you to uncheck both of these because these can really mess up with the full screen optimization giving you a slight disadvantage in the performance and then other than that go into the Fortnite and go ahead and click on the additional command line arguments and then just go ahead and copy these three that I have so these are dash lan play dash no splash and dash use all available cores now these have a space between the dash and the last keyword and other than that there are no spaces so just go ahead and copy 
them, pause the video and copy them as they are written here. And that's basically it. Now you can close out of the Epic Games launcher and we can go ahead and launch the game. But yeah, that is going to be it for the first part of this Ultimate Fortnite FPS Boost Guide for the Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. And I'm gonna be going ahead and seeing you guys in the next video that's gonna be going ahead and dropping tomorrow, which is going to be the continuation of this video. So it's going to be a part 2 of the Ultimate Fortnite FPS Boost Guide. But yeah, with that, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.